Okay, so today we're going to do a padlock key copy. And uh, see if I can get in focus here. You want the uh, flat side of your key. Okay, and I'm blackening it with the lighter. You want to use a Bic. It, it gives the char. I don't know why. Okay. And you gotta take a piece of scotch tape and take like a fingerprint on it. Okay. Now there's your print. Take a piece of plastic packaging out of your recycling or trash. And now we just need to cut this out with a pair of uh, scissors. Just follow exactly the outline from the print. No more, no less, unless you have really thick plastic. If you have extra thick plastic, you have to leave extra material on that side where it's flat and fine tune it. The thick plastic makes it extra difficult. So I don't know, this isn't too thick. This looks like it has like four pins maybe in it. Most padlocks these days are very cheaply made because they understand that people don't know the difference between locks anyways. So it's the illusion of security and this lock I'm doing here has you know really low tolerances doesn't need to be too accurate. I'm still trying to be fairly accurate with this. Alright, just finishing up on the back side here. Alright. Now, question is, will it pass through without having to be bent? Sometimes these have to be bent along this crease just a little bit, and then they'll fit in better. Alright, so here's the old key that I just used. And here's the new key for that lock. Let's see if we can turn it without any aid. There we go. And there you have it. It does work on padlocks. Um, like if you see my other video, I'll put a link to it up here. If you want to watch that video, it shows uh, basically the same exact thing for doing house keys. It went to became wildly popular. It has lots of views. So, um, yeah, it also does padlocks. Nice little trick if you're, uh, you need to keep a spare key for any reason. You could slide that into a crack of a wall and nobody would know it was there.